Let us grow in faith and put all our trust in Him. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today in the Gospel we see Jesus is rejected by His own people. During His ministry, Jesus went to His native village and taught the people in the synagogue. He taught them with authority and so the people marveled at His teaching. Even though Jesus had already performed so many miracles and spoken so insightful about the laws and the prophets, the people were reluctant to accept Him. They said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary? For the people, Jesus was only a carpenter's son from their town. They were not open to this new reality that he is more than a carpenter's son. He is the son of God. As a result, though they marveled at what he said and did, they could not just understand the reasons behind his teaching with authority and miracles. The gospel tells us that he did not do many miracles there because of their lack of faith. By their lack of faith, they placed limits on what they would allow God to do for them. We can also sometimes reach that situation where we put limit to him. We judge God by his ability to do something for us. Such a way of relationship with the divine can blind all those blessings that we so far revived. Such a relationship with the divine is based on our limited understanding of God. The gospel reminds us that we must have faith which is not merely resting on our presumptions. St. Paul in his second letter to the Corinthians chapter 10 verse 15 says, We hope that your faith may grow and that we may be able to do a much greater works among you. Let us grow in faith and put all our trust in Him. For He is our God, as Prophet Nahum says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of distress. He cares for those who trust in Him. Amen.